Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to rip your Blu-ray movies with the Asus SBW06D2XU drive. So I bought this drive, it was really cheap, it was 30 bucks on eBay, $10 shipping, so I paid 40 bucks for this. And the reason I wanted to get this is because I wanted to rip on my CDs, DVDs, and importantly, Blu-rays, because if I ever buy a movie these days, I will only buy a Blu-ray. And I wanted to get them all stored somewhere so that eventually, if I get, you know, multimedia centers set up, you know, everywhere in the house, like four or five different centers, I can just go ahead and, and call on some, you know, some computer or some server or something like that running in the house to access all of those songs, all of those movies from anywhere. Maybe even stream them, you know, wirelessly to, um, to you know, my smartphones. I'm not really sure. This is something, you know, it's, a, it's an in-process thing. I'm not going to go out and buy, like, four more TVs, you know, this week or this month. But uh, eventually, right? So basically, I just wanted to get that data stored in a, in a library for later. But unfortunately, once I got this thing installed on my desktop, I tried to first watch a Blu-ray and it wouldn't play. I tried to rip a Blu-ray, it wouldn't rip. I downloaded a bunch of different types of software to try to play a Blu-ray and I got all kinds of error messages from every, everybody. So it, it just wasn't working. But it didn't really make, make sense to me that that would be the case because if you uh, if you look at this we're actually seeing that like the blu-ray is in the drive right now and this is what I was seeing at that time and it says there's zero bytes free of 35 gigabytes right so there's 35 gigabytes of data stored on the blu-ray and when you go ahead and open this up you see that there are actually files with sizes so obviously the SBW 06 D2XU was recognizing the disk it was recognizing that there was data it had to be you know more than likely a software issue so I went online and this drive is actually pretty old I think it's been made for over like 10 years now and there's at least two different versions of it there's like a firmware version for 2017 and later and a firmware version from for before that time there may be even more versions but I could only determine that there's at least two different firmware versions my drive was made before 2017 so I had the old firmware version there's no firmware version update that I could find on the Asus website for the older version so there's just been a lot of people who have been frustrated by this drive over the years because they buy it they think it's just gonna be able to play blu-rays and possibly rip blu-rays as well and they can't get it to play they can't get it to rip um, so I felt like it was probably a software issue obviously and this the installation media for this drive it came with like some really old software called power to go from cyberlink and it also like I think you know somehow when you open it up it like recommends that you buy power DVD from cyberlink as well and I felt like if I if I bought like the newest version of power to go and I bought the newest version of power DVD then I could probably get it to work but I there was no guarantee and that was gonna run me like I think almost like a hundred bucks to just you know see if it would work so I wasn't gonna do it right so I did a little bit more research and I found out that a lot of people like use um, something called make MKV um, in connection with handbrake but make MKV 
doesn't seem to be compatible with the SBW drive that I bought. So there's only two Asus drives mentioned that um, that it seems like it's uh, compatible with. Fortunately, I discovered the Thundersoft Blu-ray Ripper. So this is advertised as being free in some places. It's actually not free. You do have to pay a $39.95 license fee. And I haven't paid that yet. But what I did do is I did download it. And when you download it without paying the license fee, you know, without having, you know, a license, right, you can enter, um, it allows you to rip the first 10 minutes of any Blu-ray. And so that's what I did. So I'll probably end up paying this license fee unless I find something free, which I don't really think I will. Perhaps I will. Um... But yeah, I'm probably going to pay this. So my total cost for this Blu-ray ripping drive that's functional is going to be $80, which is really not bad. Um, so let me show you how this works. So the software is actually really simple. If you have the drive installed on your computer and the Blu-ray is in the drive, when you open up the free blu-ray ripper as it's called not free right but not maybe not too expensive um, all you got to do is click load disk it'll show up um, and if you click for more information the way this is going to be saved is the title of the blu-ray and then underscore title one and even though there's a rename option that doesn't work so that's just going to be the name. That is what it is. You can rename it when it's um, when it's ripped to a folder. You got to choose a video format, and obviously you got to choose the uh, destination location. Um, looking at the formats, the first one that I chose was MKV lossless, and the ripped. Blu-ray looks really good, but unfortunately, there's glitches that show up from time to time. So let's take a look at that. Let me get to it really quick. So right here, this is the uh, file that I ripped as MKV. Let's go ahead and play it. So it looks great, right? Obviously it looks great. At least in my opinion, it looks great. But check out that glitch. Hopefully you saw that. Those glitches show up from time to time. Um, So the you know the quality is great, but those glitches are just are just not good. So I went ahead and I tried to rip it as let's see a WMV file, and what you're gonna see is. First of all, I have no idea where this narrative came from. And also the video quality is horrible. <laughs> so I would say stay away from that. Uh, thirdly, this is the only other one I've tried. I tried to rip it as a uh, AVI file. So if you go into the free Blu-ray ripper and um, you look at HD video, you're going to find HD AVI video, so, and also HD DIVX video. I think this is actually the one I chose, HD DIVX video dot AVI. Um, and what you're going to see...
is that it looks pretty good and the glitches are gone. So I think it looks acceptable and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the MKV, lossless MKV, I think maybe it looks a little bit better, but the glitches are just not great. It's not a huge issue to me, but at the same time, like if I'm trying to make this library that I'm going to keep for, you know, the rest of my life, that sounds crazy, right? But I mean, honestly, that's what I'm trying to do. So I don't really want the glitches in there. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with the um, the formats more. But at the least, I determined that this drive does work for playing, no, sorry, for ripping Blu-rays, which was, you know, kind of like something I had to have in a drive. It does work despite all the frustration that people have experienced over the years. Um, and using the, uh, let's see, what, which uh, format did I use again? Using the HD DIVX video, the AVI file type, um, you can get a good looking video and audio track and a good sounding audio track. So yeah, that's basically it. So obviously you got to upgrade to remove the time limitation, right? So you only can do the first 10 minutes without getting that, that license. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have this drive sitting around and you're frustrated because it didn't do what you wanted, or if you're thinking about buying this drive, I would say, you know, first of all, if you have the drive, you can make it work. And then second, if you're thinking about buying the drive, then if you can get it for a super cheap price like I got it, then it's obviously worth it to pay for the license. Um, if you have to pay like full price, maybe it's not worth it. However, I would also mention that because you can actually straight up buy this from ASUS. It's possible that if you buy it brand new from ASUS, perhaps it will come with a license to allow you to play Blu-rays and rip Blu-rays just out of the box. However, reading this right here, I'm thinking that that is actually probably not the case because it doesn't mention that it comes with the latest version of Power DVD and then Cyberlink Power to Go is definitely not the newest version. So I would say even if you buy it from Asus, you're probably going to have to find software that allows you to do this. Um, so yeah, it works. You just got to find software that works with it. And um, again, the, the I, I tried multiple like rippers and players, etc. And the only one I could find that would, you know, allow me to prove that it does work was the Thundersoft Blu-ray Ripper. So good luck. That's pretty much it. And peace out.